Hi, in this video, we'll look at conditional decorations for table and pivot table visualizations in OAC. As an author, you can now display icons or emojis for data values in tables and pivot tables, as you can see for discount column in this visualization. Let's see how we can conditionally display icons or emojis for another column, sales for the example. For product subcategories that made more than a million in sales, I will put a star. And the subcategories for which sales was less than 50,000, I will put a warning sign. To do this, I created a conditional formatting rule, gave it the name sales rule, and selected sales for the measure. I created a condition for sales more than a million and assigned star icon. I did this by clicking on this format box, navigated to icon tab, and selected star icon. I've also specified a color for the star icon from the color picker. Similarly, I created a condition for sales less than 50,000 and assigned a warning icon. Alternatively, I could choose an emoji for the condition. I can navigate to a specific emoji category and select an emoji of my interest. Now I will close these windows and apply this rule on the table visualization for the icons to show wherever the conditions are met. I right click to open the context menu from conditional formatting option. I hover over sales and select the sales rule. And now you can see icons are displayed as per the rules conditions. From the values tab of the property panel, you can adjust the icon size for specific measures. For sales, I'm going to increase the icon size so I provide a value for the custom size. You can also change the icons positions with respect to data values. By default, icons are placed before the data value. You can choose to place them after the data values, or you can choose to display only icons. As you just saw, you can display the icons and emojis on the tables and pivot tables in OAC to emphasize data points of interest to the workbook and users. Thanks for watching the video.